Hey, this is Shannon from SeriouslyGoodCooking.com, and I'm back. This is segment two. Today we're making Ropa Vieja. It is Super Bowl Sunday, and it just seemed like a really great dish to make while we watch the Super Bowl. Not that I really care who wins, neither does my husband, but we're both web marketers, so we love the ads, and of course we'll watch. Um, I've already chopped up all of the vegetables over here. It's been five hours. No, I'm just kidding, but I did chop up a lot of vegetables. Um, I've got the meat ready to go into the pan, and so we're just going to go over here and get going. This is the chuck roast that Julian brought home that I decided that I was going to make ropa vieja out of instead of making yet another pot roast, since you guys are pretty sick of seeing me make that. Um, I've chopped up some cilantro here that I'm going to go ahead and put on my roast. I've already covered it really liberally with some salt and some pepper. So I'm just going to cover it with some more herbs. And then we're going to brown it. Right. So I'm going to put this on about six, medium high heat. I'm going to put some olive oil in here. One, two, three. Put in about four tablespoons. I'm going to let this get really hot and then we'll brown the meat. Once I brown the meat, then I'm going to take it out, set it on a plate, and I'm going to start browning the rest of the vegetables. I've got about four cloves of garlic here. This is more than I've seen any other Ropa Vieja recipe call for, but we really like garlic, so don't let a recipe hold you back. If you know that you really like the taste of something, and it's something that's probably going to go well with your meal, go ahead and put it in. I've chopped up the onion. Now, unlike my other pot roasts where the vegetables were chopped really big because we were just going to put them in with the braising liquid to flavor the meat, um, with this we're actually going to put it in our ropa vieja when we're done. So I've made them much smaller. I've also got some sliced olives in here as well as some whole olives that I want to throw in the liquid. Sliced up a leek. So this is a, a big leek that's been sliced up as well as some celery, leaves and all. There's a lot of really great flavor in the leaves of celery. Most people don't include it in their food, but I chopped them up really fine, almost like little parsley is what it looks like. And then I have green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and I've also got some chopped up really fine um, hot pepper down in there that's going to give this dish some serious heat. All right, this is getting pretty hot. I'm going to put a little bit of sofrito in the bottom to start with, maybe. If you've never cooked with sofrito before, it's something that's actually used in a lot of different cuisines. Um, it's something that's definitely used in Cuban, and it's really like a tomato cooking base made up of tomatoes, green peppers, onions, cilantro, garlic, olive oil, and it just gives whatever you're making a really great base to start from. I use this when I'm making um, tomato sauces, like in my spaghetti and meatballs. You'll see that I started with some sofrito. I find that it, it makes any food just automatically richer, almost as if it's cooked for a really long time. It just makes it richer. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put in the meat. Alright, now I'm going to let this brown on all sides, so I'm just going to let it sit here, sit here, I'm not going to move it around and mess with it a bunch, I'm going to let it sit here, brown on this side, I'm going to flip it over, brown it on the next side, I'll actually hold it up and so that I can get all of the edges as well. As soon as that is done browning, I'm going to take it out, put it on a pan, and then I'm going to start putting in one by one all of my vegetables so they can saute in that liquid. I'm going to start with my garlic and onions, let those kind of get translucent, and then I will put in my leeks, the celery, the olives, and then I'm going to end with the green peppers. All right? So I will get to that. You guys go finish watching the pre-Super Bowl show, and uh, we'll be back. Thanks.